Welcome back to the Skylanders Ultimate Nightmare series, where I will play a solo run with every Skylander on Nightmare Mode to see which Skylanders and which of their upgrade paths are better. For the first run today, we're going to be starting off with Sprocket on the Gearhead upgrade path. This upgrades her tanks and her turrets. While driving a tank, you can press the third attack button to drop a mine out the back. Tanks and turrets all shoot explosive shells, which allows them to do splash damage on impact and they self-destruct when destroyed, damaging everything nearby. The exploding shells upgrade is great for dealing with many enemies that group together, especially because they're all going to be walking right next to each other to go towards your turret, as they do count as distractions. And the mine drop is not bad either, as it allows you to drive away from enemies while still being able to attack them while retreating. That being said though, the turrets do take a really long time to build, and there's no upgrade on this path which helps improve that. So a lot of the time, the enemies are going to be chasing you down, not giving you a moment to build anything. For a lot of fights, you've kind of got to build the turret before you engage with the enemies, but it is of course not always possible. If you are able to, it is really fun to drive around the turret, but unfortunately you can still get hit by the enemies quite easily. You're slow while in the turret, and it does not seem to give you any extra armor like flying does on some other characters. It is worth noting that you can only have two turrets down at a time, whether or not you have this upgrade path. Not that you'll ever really get the chance to get too many out at a time, because like I said, it takes a really long time to build, and enemies on Nightmare Mode can destroy them in just one or two hits. This makes Sprocket pretty tough to use, and I can honestly see her being much better in multiplayer as your partner can distract the enemies while you build the turrets, but unfortunately that is not an option for me. Her wrench attack, despite looking like a normal melee move, is actually quite a bit worse than, say, a punch from Slam Bam, because if you're using the wrench, you kind of get locked in place and you can't move around, where if you're playing a Slam Bam, you can punch while still walking and thus dodging. And all this together means that Sprocket is not very great at avoiding enemy fire. The best thing to do if you want to damage enemies while not getting hit is to just drop landmines and run away, but with only being able to spawn one at a time on this upgrade path, it is not particularly effective. Unfortunately, if you're on the upgrade path which improves your turrets, and you're not really able to find time to build turrets, you are not going to be in for a great time. This time around, we're going to take a look at the operator upgrade path. You unlock the two new combos. The secondary combo shoots an energy spark in front of you, and the tertiary combo spawns out five mines. The primary combo which you get on either upgrade path is just a big wrench slam attack. We're also given access to a wrench that does more increased damage, and whenever you spawn a mine, you spawn three at once, which this is really the draw of this upgrade path, the three mines at once. Not only does this increase the damage you can do by a lot, but like I mentioned earlier, the mines are probably Sprocket's best attack because they actually don't lock her in place, you can move around while doing them, and running away from enemies while attacking is very important. It does make you wonder though why one of her combos spawns five mines if you can just press the tertiary attack button twice. It's much safer and easier to do it that way. Driving the tank is still pretty powerful even on this upgrade path, because none of the upgrades on the other one actually directly increase its damage. It was just the explosive shots, dropping mines, and the self-destructing capability. Here I'm experimenting with using a secondary combo, but it's just kind of difficult to set up because you have to use two wrench swings beforehand. Even the primary combo gets you stuck in place for quite a while after you land it. The one good thing about the secondary combo is that it does have surprisingly good range. And as you may have predicted, the best strategy I found with Sprocket was to just walk around and spam landmines. You can build some turrets whenever you get an opportunity, but there's really not a lot of those. You can have up to 5 landmines on the field at a time, which isn't too many, but it's actually not a big deal because most of the time when you use a landmine, it'll just get tripped immediately. And if not, there's not really any harm in just putting down some more in a better location. One kind of cool thing you can do with the landmine golf is walk in a straight line, place some mines, and right before you walk over the mine, you can swing the wrench to hit it. So this way you can hit the mine as soon as it's available to be hit without slowing down too much. Overall, I think Sprocket is pretty fun despite how slow she is and she gets stuck using every attack. I would recommend going with the operator upgrade path so you can just spam some landmines. But maybe try Gearhead and Co-op. 